Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is finally Fiendish Friday. Yes folks, TGIF is finally upon us. First and foremost, I do hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk. All that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Uh, please do like, share and sub subscribe. I love seeing each and every one of you every Monday through Friday. Permitting my schedule then of course major holidays. Which yesterday uh, my schedule got away from me so I wasn't able to do a review for you guys if that's all good I'm sure you'll forgive me um, but today I got an interesting one for you and then also do me a really huge favor and check out the description box for more information on the daily film such as your brief synopsis your starring cast runtime of the cut I'm watching your director uh, if there's an MPAA rating if there is one that exists which um, I believe today runs at a rated R um, there is uh, also going to be some trivia if I find anything worthwhile of mentioning, which today there really wasn't anything that I figured was worth worth the uh, the blurb on. You know, there wasn't really a whole lot of anything going on with it. And then there's a link for either a trailer and or a scene from the movie. It's going to be one or the other. I don't know why I said and or. Uh, it's going to be either a trailer or a scene from the movie directly itself. So definitely look for that as well. Uh, so I put a little bit extra information in that description box for you so you can get a, a little bit bigger of a bite out of it and hopefully it'll help you decide if you want to check it out or not one of those ordeals all right now that i got all of that out of the way let's get on to the movie of the day this one came out back in 2001 and it's hard to believe it is 20 years old now and it is none other than takashi Miike's visitor q yes folks this is the tokyo shock one disc release i believe there was a two disc release of this and i believe there's probably a blu-ray out there that exists of this at this point i uh, either way i would really like to upgrade this one because this is one i really like and it is worth every penny in my opinion because it is a very bizarre strange depraved messed up little movie that nobody nobody talks about enough um usually when they go to Takashi Miike films they usually throw out Audition I happen to think this is better than Audition Audition is a good film I'll give it that um I have nothing really 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 bad to say other than it's a little slow going that one is definitely um uh it is a slow burn unlike this one this one has a lot of a lot going on in such a short while because this one runs i believe in an hour and 24 minutes yep an hour and 24 minutes uh hour 24 23 minutes ish um but either way it's um it's a very, very interest, interesting film, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys go out and check it out. Um, as far as special features go on this Tokyo Shock release, it is a, uh, a standard-issued pressed DVD. Uh, there is zero reversible artwork on this one, which, honestly, I wouldn't expect any from Tokyo Shock. That's not really their was never really their forte um there is a takashi miike bio in there there is a uh what else was there there wasn't a lot of special features whatsoever on there i know the takashi miike bio was on there there was a trailer gallery a scene access and i think there was uh a a still gallery maybe maybe um but either way there was only just a few a uh, few things in there for as far as special features go and it was it's nothing Nothing worth worth uh, 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 price of admission. It is crappy, crappy special features for this one. I feel like it deserves more. Uh, maybe that two disc has a little bit better uh, uh, um, uh, quality on as far as that ga case goes. Um, I would I would really like more information on this one because it is such a good good film. It's a great Takashi Miike. Now, um, what exactly is it about? Um, it's about this, uh, it starts off with this reporter who's basically, um, he's with this girl in this, in this room, uh, I would take it as either, it's either a hotel room or it's the room of the girl that, uh, um, he is, is fooling around with, in which, um, she eventually, she, like, they're kind of messing around a little bit, he's very hesitant, um, says it's not right, says it's wrong, uh, they, she eventually gets to the point where, like, oh, if you pay me such and such, you can, 
you can have sex with me and such and such and I'll give you uh, a mouth hug. Um, it basically is is a little bit of a barter thing going on there. Eventually, they do have sex. Uh, he he happens to finish finish early, and she is unset, upset about it. So she starts calling him an early bird and this and that. Uh, basically, wants to charge him extra because she didn't get any thrills out of it. In that that um, uh, he 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 basically let her down. It was it was a pretty it was pretty sad. I'm not gonna lie, but either way, um, you go go from that to um the this uh, segment it starts off with a co it, it goes to a question have you ever beat your mother and it is a very very horrifying sad um thing to see that uh this man this tv reporter um his wife is being wife and who is a mother of his children is getting beat perf like just viciously getting throttled and beaten with with uh whips or not whips but uh um like canes and shit like that you know it's she's she's getting getting hurt really really bad to the point to where she can't walk correctly she has scars all over her body um her only thing that she says is she her only defense that she'll do defense mechanism she does is to block her face but she takes everything in stride and definitely takes a uh, thrashing along the way. Uh, and if, if the person that is doing this, it, the horrifying, disgusting part about it is it's her son that is doing this. And this, both the mother and the father are both uh, very compliant to it. They don't like the mother definitely she just goes along with it and just takes the beatings um the father is a very um uh cowardly type of person he he is definitely one that uh shows no backbone no spirit no spine you know he he's very very uh, uh like i said a cowardly one at the beginning of the movie and so he just just basically just sits by and lets lets his son do this to her uh uh and then it goes into this whole thing about have you been hit in the head with a rock or some shit like that i forget exactly have you been hit in the head and then it shows um our main our our uh, husband slash father our slash tv reporter is what he is uh he is sitting at a busway bus uh subway not a subway station but a um a bus station a train station excuse me a train station waiting for um his next subway train to come rolling through um, uh, it's, uh, uh, while he's sitting there, a man opens up a window right directly behind him and smashes him over the head with a rock. Uh, fast forward it and you see that this man has now come home with our father, dad, our, our husband, father, TV reporter slash, uh, loser person that, uh, is our main character. Um, comes home with him and both both this the father again and this stranger who who we call visitor Q uh he sits by and watches uh all this happen and doesn't say a word doesn't flinch doesn't uh uh stop anything at all whatsoever he just lets this family go through the the hell that they're going through because the son himself who is um bullying the mother is being bullied horribly beyond belief at school um it doesn't make two wrongs don't make a right in my opinion but um it does it is very sad and it, it yanks at your heartstrings seeing the shit that happens to him as well um Part of it, you don't feel bad for him because of what he does to his mother, but in turn, you do because that's um, essentially what's triggering everything at home with mom. He thinks that uh, because it's it's usually the, what happens to bullies is they get bullied themselves. They go off and they bully someone else, and that person bullies someone else, and it, it's a vicious, 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 ugly cycle, and it, it's one that really should be broken. And uh, bullying is not okay, what any any way, shape, or form. I I 
definitely I condemn that shit. And if you do it, you're a horrible person and you really do not deserve to be amongst humanity. Just saying. Yeah. Anyways, um, so he's getting bullied beyond belief at school as well. Like they're, they're punching him, hitting him, kicking him. Uh, one point they tie him up and they tell him that he needs to shit himself. Um, in turn, you know, he, he, they never show if he does or not, but eventually he ends up down in the bottom of this, uh, uh, ravine after, after being beaten horribly himself. Um, and all the whole while the father is filming this, uh, um, he is filming it because he's come up with this brilliant, brilliant idea that if he shows that his son is being bullied, because him himself, he was bullied at one point because he's kind of this disgraced TV reporter because he was off on, on a, uh, a story, a report, and he gets attacked by these younger kids that are, I'm guessing, teenage, late teens, early 20s. I'm leaning more towards late teens, you know, right around uh, eight, 17, 18, 19-ish. Um, but either way, they're they're punk kids. They beat the hell out of him. They take the camera. Um, they, they take his microphone and they shove it up his ass. Uh, it's, uh, kind of, it's funny. I uh, don't get me wrong. It's, this is there. There's so many things about this that is absolutely hilarious. It's the tone and the delivery of the way it happens because, uh, there is so many things that are just off the wall crazy that don't that wouldn't exist in today's society or not just today's society just wouldn't exist in general. Uh, like like a woman who who can lactate in, um so much that it it fires off like 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 three four feet away from her and uh, and and to the degree that there's like an inch puddle on the ground that uh, that all around all around her it's 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 quite humorous on how they deliver certain things of this. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. But back to what I was saying, the the father has this brilliant idea to film his son being bullied, and he's going to come in at the end and try to uh, redeem him, redeem himself, I guess, by by stopping the bullying, even though he's going to watch it and and film it for as far as however long his heart desired to to where he felt like he needed to intervene. Um, kind of a. a uh, a twisted little story, in my opinion. It doesn't uh, um, really make you think very highly of the father, which I you don't throughout the whole movie. Like I said, he's a cowardly type. Uh, and then he, event, after all this is going on, he he has a, uh, a a female news reporter with him, and they get into a fight. He ends up killing her, and then he brings her home, and he's going to dissect her or dismember her not dissect dismember her so he can get rid of her body uh in the process he decides that he's going to have sex with the corpse he's having sex with the corpse uh uh the corpse ends up eventually like vacating its bowels on him which was absolutely hilarious uh the way they 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 delivered it because he's like oh yes it's wet you're so wet oh my God, how can a dead body get wet? And this and that. And he's like, oh, it feels so good. And then he reaches down and, and pulls up this handful, this handful of Hershey syrup. And it was just, oh, it, it was just gross. It was, it looked like pure mud. It was, <laughs> but either way, um, it, he ends up getting stuck. Uh, and so he has, has, his wife eventually comes to because it comes to grasp that uh, uh, her husband has been cheating, obviously, because at one point earlier in the movie, she smells his penis after after he'd had sex with the girl at the very beginning. And she could clearly smell the other woman on top, the other woman from him. Uh, but she she just goes along with it because her her herself she her source of income she is a a prostitute and it shows her out on one of her her uh um her john out on one of her jobs where she's with one of her johns and it's a very interesting ordeal and it talks about it eventually leads to some some like bondage s&m type not bondage but more like s&m like 
whipping and 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 spanking type stuff. Uh, it's very uh, uh, um, tongue in cheek is how I would say a lot of it's delivered. It's very tongue in cheek. But either way, uh, the the wife eventually what happens is they. Sorry, my dog is up here on the up here with me, and you guys know if you regular regularly tune in, you guys know how my dog is. He likes to be in the videos sometimes by shaking the camera and everything like that. But that's okay. That's okay. We take it with the stride and we roll along. <laughs> but either way, um, the wife ends up helping the husband. Uh, they take the body inside, both both the husband, her, and the uh, visitor Q. Uh, visitor Q is all the while recording this on the father's uh, um, uh, camera, rec uh, video camera, um, so that it's documented the entire time he eventually gets out it gets released or it, his wang gets released from this corpse um you eventually again see the bullies attacking the son this time things are much 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 differently the parents grow a pair of balls and they kill the bullies uh very very different um uh they could pull a complete 180 and go a complete different direction and it is, it is very nice to see that they they grew a pair but it took going through hell to actually get there so it's, it's a very rough and bumpy ride for them it is it is heartbreaking um and then the the very ending there's a very very last coup de gras here that that involves mom out in the shed with father and and uh um, another person, but we're not going to, uh, as tell you who that person is, but, um, at one point towards the end, the, the vis our visitor Q ends up coming across our, our fourth member from the family that has been vacant the whole time, which is a daughter who has been living it, living elsewhere. And it turns out she was a prostitute and I'm pretty sure, um, uh, that, that she was the girl from the beginning of the movie that, that the dad was sleeping sleeping with so I'm pretty sure he was sleeping with his daughter one of those ordeals it's uh um I may have confused it but it uh is yeah <laughs> it's a very perverse family it's very disgusting uh, uh per perverse film it, it'll definitely leave a dirty taste in your mouth but definitely uh check it out it's uh one of the grossest dark comedies I've seen in a long time um uh next to Serbian film now, as far as how I would rate this thing on a technical side, this thing's probably a two, three, I would say a three out of five. Um, it's momentum works well enough, but there's, there's enough errors throughout it. Uh, boom, mics dropping down, um, uh, things that just, you have to really suspend your, your disbelief to under, to really grasp like the whole milking thing. Um, the bullies are firing, uh, um, bottle rockets and roman candles and throwing firecrackers into the family's home and i find it hard to believe that nobody in the neighborhood will even would didn't call the police or anything of that nature um there's just little things like that throughout the movie that i'm just like no, but in all in all, it is an overall good movie um as far as an entertainment side goes this thing's probably a three or a four out of five i would say this is like a six out of ten kind of movie um it could it's bordering a seven could be a seven depending on if you watch it with a with a like-minded crowd um i watched it with my fiance and we had a good time watching it and uh we we got some chuckles and and uh, uh some pure entertainment from it and, it and we and we came away with it uh um with with uh lots of discussions amongst each other which is always uh, a good thing if you have a nice hefty uh, um, discussion about a, a movie after you've watched it, a movie or a film after you've watched it, um, that means that the that movie or film has done something right. It has uh, impacted you enough to where you wish to talk more about it. All right, guys. Love your faces. I hope all of you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will be back on Monday as usual. And uh, and as usual, you know, peace. And I love your faces. <laughs> uh, I'm just all over the wall today. Love you guys.